Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Welcome to flight number 293, non-stop from Miami to Montreal. Looks like the weather is, has, is going to be really clear. Should have a smooth and uneventful flight. So, just sit back, put your tray tables up, turn off your small electronics. We will be on our way to Montreal in just a few... Oh, wait a minute. Looks like we've got a master warning. And, uh, well, the left and right engine is on fire. Nothing to worry about, though, because this is not a real plane. I'm sitting in a flight simulator. And I was told if I want to learn how to fly some of the most popular planes in the world, this is the place that I needed to be. True simulation and training. Let's check it out. True Simulation and Training is a vertically integrated company with complete flight simulator manufacturing capabilities. From raw materials to a finished certified flight training system, True delivers pilot training systems that are deployed around the globe. The process all begins with the building of the frame. It takes about 50 steel tubes that weigh approximately 5,600 pounds to build the simulator frame. The in-house metal fabrication team reproduces the aircraft parts needed for each cockpit. Using CNC machining, the parts are replicated to the exact specifications of the original aircraft parts. Depending on each customer's requirements, parts are either purchased as certified OEM parts or cost-effectively reproduced. Strict quality control of each part ensures every cockpit feels exactly like the real aircraft. With a full electronics lab in-house, circuit boards are manufactured and tested. The many buttons and switches are assembled into the cockpit components. There isn't a light they can't make blink or a switch they can't make click. As the sub-assemblies are completed, they're moved into inventory and are ready to make their way to the assembly floor. Flight simulator assembly begins with the arrival of the completed frame from the welding shop. The simulator is constructed in one spot and only moves when it's ready to fly. The simulator begins to take shape as the wall is placed on the frame. The cockpit windows are installed, then it's ready to be lifted onto the frame. Once on the frame, the cockpit is laser aligned to ensure perfect positioning. Major sub-assemblies like the flight control systems are built to match the exact touch and feel of the actual aircraft. The pedals for this Airbus A320 are the same blue pedals used on the actual aircraft. Now that the cockpit is ready, miles of cables and wires are snaked throughout the simulator. Installed both inside and outside of the simulator are the heart and brain of the whole system. Built up from empty cabinets, the control panels, computer assemblies, and power cabinet complete the system. Once the cabinets are built, the software is configured and tested. The assembly continues with the mechanical systems. Each simulator comes with a complete ventilation system and with added components can produce true-to-life situations like a cockpit fire. The visual system spans a 200-degree horizontal and 40-degree vertical field of view. Mylar is stretched across the frame to create a seamless reflection of the visual screen. As part of the visual system, the projectors are assembled. Once the visual system is installed, the completed Mylar reflective screen is then lifted and installed onto the simulator. Now that the visual system has come together, the projectors are aligned using a fiber optic grid system to ensure a seamless image. When placed under vacuum pressure, the Mylar becomes smooth for a perfect high resolution image. As the inside of the cockpit takes shape, outside the simulator, the motion control system begins with the installation of mounts for each actuator. The six powerful electro-pneumatic actuators each weigh 1,100 pounds and support the entire flight simulator to create the true-to-life motion of an aircraft. Wow. 
motion control systems can be 100% electric, or for less power consumption, there is a hybrid electro-pneumatic system that uses highly calibrated air compressors to help move the simulator. Each simulator needs to go through multiple system calibrations to perfectly reproduce the flight experience. The last of the components in the cockpit are installed. The final wired connections are made and the audio system is completed. After all the connections are tested, the final control deck skirt panels are installed. The assembly of the simulator is complete and extensive testing begins. The entire flight simulator goes through rigorous testing and quality controls to be accepted by not only the customer, but also qualified by government regulatory agencies. Every simulation type is tested, including environmental conditions such as snow, rain, and fog. Final testing is completed when the customer flies the simulator and provides their approval. Once approved, each flight simulator is disassembled into sections that are created for shipping. You need a big scale for this package. All the sections are then reassembled at the customer's location and the simulator is ready to fly. You know, it's amazing how much time and effort goes in to building something like this right here, a simulator to actually train you to fly an airplane. You know, these will actually be used more than the airplane itself, sometimes 16 hours a day, seven days a week. Of course, the great people right here at True, well, they're up to the challenge, building the most sophisticated flight training systems, really, in the world. Think about that next time you take a flight.